Come on. What is this place? An old hunting camp. You can rest here. Are you sure? I know the signs, all right. It's abandoned. Ah. Here. Let me take a look at it. Ha! Huh. How bad is it? Uh, I don't have anything to clean it with. Oh, great. Of course, I die by bloody infection. Don't say that. Oh. oh, you got anything to drink? This far north and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something, please. I'll see what I can find. Someone's still living here. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll... I'll gut you like a fucking fish. <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. Ah! Don't try that again! Garrett! Is that... Oh! <gasps> Cotter! Oh, Sylvie. You're alive! I told you I'd come back. Who is... Her? She's dangerous! No, she's not! You see... Ah... Uh... This is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. Lord Roderick, Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? And Arthur Glenmore. I don't recall you being invited. Yet here I am. Roderick, may I have a word? What were you thinking? I thought you knew better. They're here for my protection. You didn't think I'd just trust your father? I thought you'd at least trust me. I told you I'd try to talk sense into my father. With Griff. I know how difficult that must have been for you. But it will all be for nothing unless you listen to what my father has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head and thinking before you jump to conclusions. I'll do whatever I feel like doing. I'm warning you, Roderick. Tread carefully today. Lady Gwen. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Are your soldiers expecting trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? Mm -mm. 
milady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torin Serps wasn't born yet. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to. When my mother was still alive. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on. We mustn't keep my father waiting. I don't like this. Let's be ready to defend ourselves. Form up! Ryan for Griff. That is the plan. I'll look around. See what we're up against. Why all this, if they mean to betray us? Bread and salt would mean we're protected by guest right. Even so, I won't be letting my guard down. What's Lord Whitehill planning? He said he wanted a truce, and I believed it. I hope I wasn't a fool. Just follow my lead and we'll be fine. That's far enough! Mother, look at this. This ironwood's cracked. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! Roderick! Welcome to High Point. Lord. You're not nervous, are you? Rob Stark went to a feast, and look what happened. I'm nothing like Walder Frey. Though you did bring Glenmore's soldiers under my roof. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? Well? Why? You know, 
Your father once called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. Lud, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family our goodwill. To family. To, to family. family. Now, tell us why we're here. The ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. I'm offering. So you're proposing an alliance? Nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace. And you spit at it. I offer opportunity. And you demand more. I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms... Or I'll have Griff tear Iron Wrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch. This isn't the way to Let get what you want. Let me get slaughtering your small folk. Maybe I'll even make you watch. Griff's no longer in charge. in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. You didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North. I'll gladly return if my brother returns home. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Frotry! I... I thought... No! This is not what we agreed on. him! Not me. If you want to see Griff alive again. You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? Power! I ought to kill you right now! Because you forest has never learned. I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word! Kill me! Think. Please! Don't do this! Oh. So now you beg! Yes. I'm begging you. Things don't have to end this way. You're lucky I had no mercy. <coughs> Ryan, come here. No. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It's been a pleasure, Lord. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. <laughs> 